Hey, I thought I would do a tutorial because there's there's always kind of waves of questions on on arrays. So I thought I would do a tutorial on arrays. So I'm, I'm going to make an object at zero zero zero, and I'm going to use array maker or yeah, well array maker. So I'm going to use a proxy. Uh, logic wise, it runs exactly the same as the normal arrays. So let's just say demo. It's the name of our array. It can be game objects. Sure. Let's create cube. Uh, on this cube, I'm going to give it a rigid body. It can use physics. Great. Let's go up here and prefab our cube. Delete the cube. And in our thing, what we have our <coughs> stuff on, however you want to call it, I'm going to drag that prefab here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, <coughs> okay, we want to uh, create an object. We want to create a cube. And we're going to put it at a position called start position. And this is the created cube so we're creating a cube at a start position well let's let's random float let's grab two of those and set vector 3 XYZ um, let's put the floats above the vector and let's just go negative 10 10 call this X negative 10 10 call this Z okay cool let's call this start position because that's what we're going to use and go X and Z not every frame so now we have a random start with our cube so what do we want to do we want to loop nope we don't want to do that we want to array add list or array list add holy crap so what we want to do is we have a list called demo it's of type game object and what do we want to add to it we want to add our created cube that's it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to loop loop state i love this little action this is actually one of the newer actions but i love it anyways we're going to new do it 50 times and when we're done we're going to go done all right, it's so now off to the array. So just to, just to see that, I mean, that's not actually an array yet. I build an array, but I don't do anything with the array, and that's that's no good. You want to see it, All right? So I just I build 50 cubes with gravity in random locations. Cool. Now let's do something here. Let's create a material. We'll call it blue, and we're just going to duplicate that, call it red and duplicate that and call it green now let's obviously you know make these colors somewhat representative of what their names are okay so i'm going to make now actually i don't even need to do that you know what that was silly of me let's just make an array of colors that's even cooler. Now we're using two arrays. So we're going to make an array of colors. There's going to be, say, three colors. We'll use green, blue. Oh, I'm going to do the same thing as I was planning on doing with the materials there, but this is just easier and it's cooler. And, it, and, it's, and, it, and it's an array, so it's fitting. All right. <clears throat> so now array list get next this is a, this is like the key action this is how you access the array uh, well one of the ways but it's the main one we have a loop state and we have a done state All right so we loop and a done i said that totally backwards but that's okay so more importantly is this the type of array so we know this is a game object array 
So we need to, I'm going to create a variable, current. So anything we do to current is what's happening to everything in the array list. Uh, just one at a time, even though it's, everything's at the same time. You'll see. So let's array get random. Array, where's random? Array get random. So let's choose our colors and store a random color. And then let's set color. There we go. But not on the owner. I want to do it on the current. And we're going to use random color right so this current array list get next we're looping so like i said th this is everything in the array everything doesn't matter if there's a billion things in here this is going to go through everything right and everything's called current i guess you could say so as we loop we're saying okay we're going to get a random color and we're going to tell current it's the random color when we're done, go back and get the next guy and do the do it over and over, right? Until we're done. So now I hit play and there is 50 cubes of random colors falling to their death. Even though it's not death because there's no ground, it's going to fall forever. But that's how we run arrays. So that is an array. That's and this is an array list. But it's the same thing as, as an array. I mean, if you if it was a normal array, you would just array get next. Right? Exactly the same thing. Only it's an array, not an array list. Slightly, slightly different. But <clears throat> everything's the same. But that is the, the process of dealing with arrays. We have, we're going to loop through the array. And this is what we're going to do to everything in the array. Right? And if you want to run tests, bool tests, float tests, whatever, get FSM things, do this, do that, call methods, you can do that in the loop. That's fine. Right? If you want to put a small weight, right? Like if I go weight uh, in this loop, you know, maybe even 0.1 seconds, uh, it will wait 0.1 seconds through every iteration. Right? There he goes. Things are slowly changing colors every 0.1 seconds. So there is some arrays.